Hello Cancer. This is Tarot by T. This is Teresa from TarotByT.com and I'm doing your reading for June, your love reading for June. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the month of June. And before we start, I'm going to bring in bring in the good spirits, the good angels, the good energy so that we can have sacred, create sacred space for your reading. And thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing and commenting. I really appreciate everyone's comments and everyone's support. And I'm, I hope that these readings are helping people because that's, what, that's why I'm doing them. I enjoy working with the tarot. I've been doing it for a long time. And we're using the um, Morgan Greer deck and the Celtic Cross spread. And let's see, I'm going to shuffle now for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer this month? What does Cancer need to know for the month of June? What does Cancer, may only the highest forces be present at this reading? To ensure that the truth be told. What does Cancer need to know for the month of June? Okay, let's see. Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant. The Empress. The Lovers. The Ace of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Strength card. The Hermit. The Eight of Swords. Okay. People have been getting a lot of major cards. I think June's going to be a major turning point for a lot of people. A successful month. Okay. So you have the Ten of Pentacles here in the present. This is a wealth card. This is the financial security card. Um, so this is what you're going to be concerned with this month. You're going to be concerned with financial security and stability. You're wanting to create something stable. You have the Hierophant crossing you. It's uh, The Hierophant is a card about teaching and, and ancient wisdom and also long-standing policies. Um, it's, a, it's about institutions, something that's been around for a long time. And so it's kind of like a, a card about dogma or rules and regulations. So if you're involved in some kind of relationship, you want something that's traditional. You don't want to be in just living with someone. You want to have a serious commitment. You're wanting stability. You're wanting someone who you can depend on, who's going to be there for you, who's going to provide for you, um, give you that home that you, you love so much. Um, it also can mean in, in a career situation that you work for a company that's been around for a long time, that has long-standing policies and rules and regulations it's a kind of more conservative organization, not open to change. Um, but in a relationship, I see that, like with the Ten of Pentacles here, the, the man here is taking care of the woman. She feels safe. So you're in a situation, you're going to be moving into a situation where you feel safer, where you feel more financially secure, you feel more stability. Um, so you, it's almost like you're wanting to do the right thing. You're wanting to see some. And it's also that you're using your wisdom. You might be teaching. Sometimes it's the card of the teacher. So you ha it's like you have a lot of wisdom to share and you want to spread that wisdom and you want to help others with that wisdom. So you might be writing or teaching or in some way getting the message out um, through traditional channels. The Empress is in your past. That's the card of the mother, the great mother, and that's Cancer. Uh, all Cancers, they love to mother people, and they love their children. 
um, home and family and children is very important to a cancer. They love children. They love to feed people. They love to nurture people. So you could be, um, and it, sometimes if you're in a relationship, you could also mean giving birth to something. So if you're, for some of you, you might be having a child. Or if it's not a physical child, you might be giving birth to a creative project or an idea or something that, that really speaks to who you are. Um, so you're, you're birthing a project that is your, it's, it's representing you. It's, and it feels like a child. You know how sometimes we create things and we work on projects and we take ownership, we mother them. So you might be working on something that you feel very protective of or you're very mothering about. It's like, a, like your little baby, your child. Um, and this is a card about harvest and it's a, a card about abundance. So whatever you're working on has the potential to be very successful. Um, you're really, you know, it might have been like you gave birth to it in the past. It's at, it was at the beginning stages and you had to nurture it kind of the way you would nurture a baby and protect it and feed it it's till it grows. Um, so you're waiting, you're looking for this growth to happen and it's, it's going to happen, but you still have to work on it. The lover's card in the past can relate to choices. You might have to, um, you might be in a situation where you're trying to choose between two paths. If it's a love relationship, you might be trying to choose between two people. It could be a love triangle. If it's a career situation, it could mean um, choosing between two jobs. Maybe there's a job offer that comes up because you have the Ace of Wands here. There might be an offer that comes up in the future and you have to decide, do I want this or not? Do I want to give up my security? Because right now you're feeling pretty safe where you're at. And you've had some success. But now this new beginning comes up. Here, this Ace of Wands is usually a new beginning. Aces are always about something new starting. And you're really excited about the idea of it. Um, it's an energetic card. Wands are always about taking action and energy and new beginnings. And you're prepared to do the work because here's the Knight of Pentacles. This represents doing the work. You have this idea. You're willing to work towards this goal. Um, you might even have to go for some kind of training. The Page of Pentacles represents a student. It could also represent a child. Um, but it's in your negative thinking sector, so you might be afraid of this change. Like this new job offer comes up and it sounds really good. Um, I think this reading is more about job than love. But if it is about love, it would be a new relationship that you're almost afraid of getting involved in. Um, so you have to do some thinking. Maybe you're in it, it means leaving one person for another because you have the Eight of Swords here and you feel trapped. You feel like you're stuck in a situation you can't move out of. And with the Hermit, you have to do some thinking. Maybe you're involved with someone and they're having trouble with their anger. They're having issues with anger or controlling their emotions or controlling the wildness within them. This is a card about controlling the animal within or the demons within. Because um, we all have a side of us that if left loose would be overwhelming. Um, you might have a strong desire for someone. There's like a passionate connection. But maybe you're already involved in a relationship and you're not sure if you want to move out of that secure situation to embrace this new thing. Um, in that case, counseling can help. And you really want to think about, with the hermit, think about what's right for me. You might want to take some time out and think, do I really want this new situation? Which, or do, do I want to give up what I have? I know what I have. And, you know, cancer is very concerned about security. They're afraid to give up that security. Um, so it's like, I know what I have. This new thing is calling me. Will I be happier with this new thing? Or do I stick with what I have? And that's, that's going to be involved in June. This, you're going to have to choose between, um, between two things, two paths. And the Eight of Swords at the outcome, it's like you're afraid to move. You're afraid to act. You feel trapped. You feel imprisoned. 
You feel like your options, that you don't have options, that you're stuck where you're at. But that's not true. The only thing that's holding you back is your fear. This person does not have any swords in front of her. Um, so she can walk away. If you're in a situation that feels oppressive, that feels stagnating, that you're not moving, you're not growing, you can walk away. Don't let fear hold you back from accepting opportunity. And you may need some counseling. Either you, or if it's a relationship situation, a, a partner, someone that you're dealing with, you might have to deal with counselors, like family counseling, or this person might need some kind of mentoring or counseling. And you also have to be open to looking at things from a, nif a different di perspective. Um, with the page here, it could be involving a child even. Maybe there's a child who's going through a troubled time and needs some counseling. And so you're worried about them. Um, and you're being the doting mother or you're being very maternal in this situation. You want to take care of this person. But maybe um, I feel like you need help. You can't do it by yourself. So you may need to go to someone who has more experience and expertise that can help the situation. So if it's a relationship, um, the relationship can benefit by counseling. If it's a situation with a child, you may need to have some kind of counseling. Maybe the child needs to... There's someone who's dealing with anger or issues. Uh, or psychological issues and they just need to talk to someone, they need to have some kind of counseling to help them work through their feelings and work through their emotions. Um, if it's a career situation, then you're dealing with your own fears of moving out of a situation that's no longer working for you. Or you're dealing, and you might have to, like a new opportunity may come up, and you might have to learn new things, you might have to go for some training to accept this new opportunity. But don't be afraid of it, um, because it could lead to something better, but you have to really sit and think. The Hermit's about knowing what's right for you. It's also about going for guidance. So these both these cards are about receiving guidance and some kind of... So you might want to go to a mentor or someone that whose opinion that you trust. Um, to get to help you decide, because I think you're not you're going to have a hard time deciding by yourself. You might need to bounce some ideas off someone else who's not so involved in the situation and can see things more objectively and can help you to see things in a different way. It's, I feel like you need to um, you need someone that's going to open your eyes and help you see things in a different way, and that's how you're going to resolve the problem if there's a problem. Um, and don't let fear hold you back from embracing the new. That's, that's my main message. You know, it's easy to get stuck in a situation because we feel comfortable. <coughs> and because, you know, we're financially secure. Um, but you have to also be feeding your soul. You can't just exist in a safety cocoon if, it, if you're not growing and if you're not happy. There's more to life than financial security. You want to be happy also. You want to be doing work that you love. You want to be with someone who values you. Um, so really think it through before you make any moves. And don't be afraid of, of trying something new. Don't be afraid of getting out there and uh, embracing the new. And don't be afraid of counseling or going to someone for advice or following the wisdom of someone because this is a card about wisdom these two cards are about the Hierophant and the Hermit are both the cards about um, someone who has knowledge and is helping others through that knowledge so it could be that, that you need to go to someone to receive that kind of knowledge also you might need to benefit by someone else's experience and wisdom and that can help you sort through your choices because you're going to have some choices to make um, but there's also going to be new opportunities. So um, you may have to work through some of your fears in the month of June so that you can embrace new opportunities. Um, and if you can do that, I think that you will make the right decision and you will lead 
yourself to a, a, a successful situation or a successful outcome. Um, don't be don't feel like you have to handle something all by yourself. This is a card of loneliness also. Maybe you're afraid to speak up and ask for help. So if you need help, speak up. Um, there are people that are, that are willing to help you, but they can't know what you need if you don't speak up. So ask and you shall receive cancer. And um, I just hope that I wish you the best for June. I hope that you make the right decisions. I hope you get the help that you need. And don't be afraid to go for advice. Don't be afraid to follow the doctor's orders. Um, it will only benefit you in the long run. So good luck and good health and much love and success to you for the month of June. And I'll see you next month.